You may have heard about this quote before. It's all about the journey and not the destination. I mean, yeah, the journey is supposed to be enjoyed, experienced and not rushed. But what if I really want to get to my destination fast and I actually enjoy taking shortcuts? Hey y'all, Deva here from the experts on Southeast Asia here, working with Microsoft. And today, we'll be talking about the Windows 11 shortcuts part 2. In part 1, we went through a variety of shortcuts. And in part 2, guess what? We're gonna do the same. Without further ado, let's get on with it. You may be wondering, with Windows 11, where exactly is the settings page? Well, sometimes the best tip are the simplest ones. Press Windows plus I to open your full settings menu. Now you can instantly tweak your display or sound settings, troubleshoot or even reset your device. The next one is pretty interesting. It has two different functions depending on where you use it. Press Ctrl plus J to open your recent downloads in Microsoft Edge. Alternatively, the same shortcut can be used to justify text in Word and PowerPoint. So, the next time you download something online and don't know where it's saved, or you need your text to be spaced out, you know exactly what to do. This is something I use all the time. And to be honest, not many people actually know you can do this on a laptop as well. You know, when you're watching a video on your phone and you want to watch it on your TV or monitor instead, you can mirror it, right? Well, you can do the same with your laptop. Press Windows plus K to cast your Windows 11 PC to a nearby wireless display. It's really that simple. You can present your project or watch shows on a larger screen. We all have that one friend who changes their desktop background to something ridiculous when you take a moment away from your laptop without locking it. The one tip I always follow is to make sure I lock my PC when I walk away from it. But sometimes, it's really tedious to hit onto the start icon, click on the power button, and then select lock for every single coffee break I take. I mean, not me. I only take one coffee break. I'm a hard-working minute. Press Windows plus L as you walk away so you can get that coffee refill in peace. Should you be working or studying, but instead you're watching a video or playing your games? Or if you're responsible like me and are finding presents online for your loved ones and they magically appear from nowhere and you want to quickly hide what you're doing, well, in any of those scenarios, hit Windows plus M to minimize that window. I love to keep my PC nice and organized, and creating folders and arranging them helps a great deal with that. Use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus N to create a new folder in File Explorer or on your desktop. You know what I really like about this shortcut? It automatically is ready for you to rename that folder. You spend hours working in a day on your office apps. So don't forget to save. Press Ctrl plus O to bring up your save options. Now you never have to worry about losing your work. Here's one more shortcut that I use all the time. I like doing work and watching my shows using different display sources. Sure, your PC is good enough, but isn't two screens better than one? Press Windows plus P to project your screen in the way that best works for you and what you're doing. You can extend your desktop for using with a monitor or duplicate it when presenting it to others. For any other adjustment, you can also access the full list of display settings here. I don't know about you, 
but I tend to be a little forgetful, especially when I'm really busy. Sometimes I don't remember why I saved a file or I don't know where certain apps I just used are hiding. Press Windows plus Q to open a list of recent apps and files or use the search box in your start menu. For those who have used Windows since Windows 95, you will be very familiar with the run window. It has been an important part for many long-term users. Press Windows plus R to open the window and type in commands. Using run commands in Windows is a very efficient way to access different Windows settings and apps directly. And there you have it, Windows 11 shortcuts. We'll be making another video with more shortcuts coming soon at a later date. Also, let me know in the comment section below which of these shortcuts are your favorite and how you would use them in your day-to-day -day life or if you know any cool shortcuts that I haven't mentioned yet. But for now, if you've enjoyed this video and want to see more Microsoft-related content, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And as usual, let us know what other type of content you would like to see in the comment section below. Well, that's all for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.